Hello viewers, welcome to Ajade Math Class. Today we shall continue with our episode on statistics for beginners. Before we proceed, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel. So in our previous videos, we've been able to look at measure of central tendency and today we shall proceed with measure of dispersion. And the first thing we are going to define here is the range. From the definition of range, the range is the difference between the highest and the smallest numbers in a given set of numbers. Now, looking at the first example we have here, we have the find range of this set of numbers. So from the definition of range, we know that range is the same thing as the highest number minus the smallest number. And from this observation, we can see that our highest is 20, while our smallest is what? 3. So this is going to be 20 minus 3, which is 17. So you can see that calculating range is very easy, even for group data. Just look at the observation given to you, the highest value minus the lowest value. That is the value of range. And secondly, we are going to look at the mean deviation. The mean deviation. So we are going to consider two cases for this mean deviation. And the first case is when you don't have a frequency. So here we are going to have summation x minus x bar over n. Take note, this is an absolute value. When you say an absolute value of x, it can assume two values, either the positive, that means the value of x can be positive or negative. So the absolute value only take into consideration the positive value. So that is the purpose of the um, x, uh, absolute value for the x. Now let's consider a situation whereby we have um, a new data set. We are going to consider the mean deviation for this same data set, 3, 4, 8, 9, 16, and 20. So our observation is um, 3, 4, as we have up there, 8, 9, 16, and 20. So we are to consider the, uh, calculate the mean deviation. The first thing for us to do is to calculate the mean. And in our previous video, we've been able to talk about that. Don't forget that the formula for calculating mean, which is x bar, is the same thing as the summation of x over n. That means all this observation we must be added together. So we're going to have 3 plus 4 plus 8 plus 9 plus 16 plus 20. Everything over how many observation? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We have 6 all together. So calculating the mean of this. So we have our mean, which is the same thing as x bar to be equals to 3 plus 4, 7 plus this, we have 15, plus 25, which is 40, plus this, which is 60 over 6. So our x bar is 6, is, sorry, is 10 in that regard. So using this same definition uh, formula to be summation x minus x bar over n, so my mean deviation, I can represent that with MD, is going to be summation of my x minus x bar. That is, the positive value, okay, of my x minus x bar. So my x now is 3 minus 10, okay, the po uh, positive value of it. The next observation, which is 4 minus 10, plus the next observation, which is 8 minus 10, plus the next observation, which is 9 minus 10, plus the next observation, 16 minus 10, and the last one, which is 20 minus 10. So we are taking the absolute value of the observation. This is going to be over n. How many observations do we have in total? Which is 6. So calculating this now, using the value given to us there, 3 minus 10 is going to be negative 7. Taking the absolute value of that is going to be positive 7. 4 minus 10, you are going to have 6 plus 2. Don't forget, you are taking only the positive value because of the presence of the absolute value. Plus 1, plus 6, plus 10. All over 6. And this is going to give us 
7 plus this is 13, 15, 16, 22, 32. So here we are going to have 32 over 6. And that should give us 5.3 something. So that sh should be our what? The main deviation. And what's the purpose of mean deviation? This is to see how our observation is far from the average. That is the purpose of mean deviation. 